What is the exact research that has brought you to the conclusion that sugar feeds cancer? Well, that was started by Otto Warburg in the, in the showing that, and then we, uh, we fed mice different diets that had different amounts of glucose, sugar, and um, there was a direct relationship between how high the blood glucose was and how fast the tumor grew. Um, and we tested that. So, in fact, we're doing some nice experiments now where we're trying to raise blood sugar as high as we can possibly get it to see whether or not we can accelerate tumor growth. We want to see if there's a particular diet that's it's the most, we're trying to find a diet that will allow tumors to grow faster than ever recorded, that ever could, anyone could possibly imagine. So um, now it's just the opposite of what people would think. But if you can show people that there is a particular diet that will accelerate your tumor growth faster than any other diet that we can know of, then that would be good to try to avoid that. Do you recommend avoiding all sugar all the time? No, I don't recommend avoiding all sugar all the time. I, I think that sugar is part of our uh, evolutionary past. We would go for ripe fruits, honey, and these kinds of things. But I think that processed foods that have high uh, nutritionally uh, depleted, high, high sugar, is, causes systemic inflammation in the body, type 2 diabetes, and a variety of other chronic issues. Um, and I think that that contributes in many, in many subtle ways to the, the different chronic diseases that we have, heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, uh, and these kinds of uh, diseases. So people should just be aware that drinking a lot of Coca-Cola, eating a lot of donuts, um, put them at, puts them at risk for systemic inflammation, uh, which then uh, puts them at risk for various chronic diseases. So I think it's probably good to uh, recognize that. So if some people say, they don't care, then there's nothing you can really do about it. Um, and the obesity epidemic in the country is a consequence of, of people having foods that are loaded uh, with uh, high, high, high sugar. It's not the high fat. The body can't get fat by eating fat. Fat is either burned or excreted. It's not stored. Sugar is stored as fat. So when you see someone that's obese, that obviously came from the glucose and the sugar molecules that they eat because that can be converted into fat, but fat is not converted into sugar for the most part. So the, the, the idea here is if you eat low, high fat, low sugar diets, you'll lose weight. And if you eat high, high, high glucose, low fat diets, you're gonna gain weight. So this is, so you just have to know that and then you make decisions.